Open a map and throw a dart, preferably not at your computer, and you're bound to hit one of our planet's countless towns, villages, cities, or municipalities. It's understandable that not all of them will be outstanding or distinctive. However, the following areas do not comply to expectations or uniformity. Instead, each has a unique feature that distinguishes it from the other places in this vast, place-filled globe. Cairo's Necropolis, the City of the Dead The ancient Egyptians built their tombs and necropolises on the west bank of the Nile, facing the setting sun. The opposite side would be for the living. However, the dead and living coexist in Cairo, which has a bigger metropolitan area of over 22 million people and insufficient resources to shelter them all. As a result, many people have relocated to Cairo's renowned historic necropolis, where they live among the graves and care for the deceased. This graveyard, known as the City of the Dead, is at least 1,200 years old. It is even referred to as the oldest and longest in use Muslim cemetery in the world. Nonetheless, many of families make a living among the marble tombs, mausoleums, and unmarked, unidentified graves. However, even this last shelter is under threat, as local officials intend to demolish it and create a freeway. Arizona Sky Village, the desert outpost where everyone's an astronomer. Imagine a place where everyone looks up at the stars. There is such a place. It is known as the Arizona Sky Village, and it is quite gloomy. It is located in a remote area of southeast Arizona and encompasses a rural 450-acre development of stargazers, consisting of lighted dwellings outfitted with domed observatories. Aside from being in the desert and away from city lights, the Chiricahua Mountains shield the sky village from light pollution, more poetically known as urban sky glow. The houses have no exterior lighting, and all of the windows are blackout shaded. All the better to observe the sky, as these 21 households, 150 miles, 241 kilometers from Tucson, hope to become infatuated with nightly deep dives into the universe. Geithorn, the Dutch Venice. Geithorn, established in 1230, is dubbed the most beautiful and fairy tale village in the Netherlands. Of course, that is a phrase from the town's website, but it is difficult to disagree when you see it. Geithorn is notable as a place with no roads. It is also known as the Venice of the Netherlands due to the canals and waterways that were hand dug to transport peat. There are no cars here, which leads to a slower pace of living. The settlement is made up of hand dug canals and small islands connected by 176 bridges that lead to the mainland. Farmhouses abound on these islands, and lovely Dutch cottages with thatched roofs stand out. More than 1 million global tourists visit each year, and Geethorn is fortunately able to keep its character. Masule, an ancient Iranian village of rooftops. The ancient Iranian Masule is positioned on a 60-degree inclination high in the Alborz Mountains, at about 3,500 feet 1,066 meters, height. It began over a thousand years ago as an ironworking hub. It was established around a mine, but was relocated a few miles down the road due to catastrophes such as an epidemic and an earthquake. To completely utilize the space, angles, and environment, step structures are built into the slope, with public spaces on the roofs. Optimizing space is more important than ever in cities around the world, but Masale, where cars are outlawed, has a down pat. Rooftop dwelling is the norm here, and as you leave a building, you're more likely to find yourself on the rooftop than the porch. These are public places, with plazas and hangout spots gracing the town's tops rather than the pigeon droppings and antennas that cover the top sides of buildings elsewhere in the world. Casey, the little town of big things. Along with the famous roadways they decorate, giant roadside attractions are iconic symbols of Americana. They're so ingrained in our collective psyche that none of us can remember if our memories of the world's tallest thermometer are real or from television. In that way, Casey, Illinois, houses a number of the world's most significant entities. Casey has some pretty large things, including nearly 14-foot-tall, 4.3-meter knitting needles, a 32-foot-tall, 9.8-meter measuring stick, and an oversized pencil with an inspiring religious quote, Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart, neat. However, these items are not the main attraction because Casey also has 12 of the world's largest things, all matched to scripture quotes, 
including a 54-foot-tall, 16.5-meter wind chime, an 82-foot-long, 25-meter seesaw. Yes, it works, and you can ride it. And massive wooden shoes that are nearly 5 feet, 1.5 meters, tall, but 28 foot tall, 8.5 meter. Chevy Truck Key has a scriptural quotation, reminding visitors about the keys to paradise.